So now we come to the I'd like to be portion of our show. And uh, this is a great thrill for our audience here and at home, and especially for me, because our guest tonight is the lovely Miss Denise Darcel. Miss Darcel, would you come <laughs> say things are looking up on the show tonight. I'm sure that if Robert Q. Lewis is looking in, he is envious of me at this very moment. Miss Darcel, what brings you to New York at this particular time? Well, I will, uh, I was just in a Miss Ansel show, you know, I came for this and then I uh, going to be at the Cotillon room at the Pierre Hotel in the May of 5th. Uh, how soon? So May Oh, May 5th, right? mm -hmm. Well, that's fine. Well, now, uh, I want our panel to go to work on this problem, ladies my and picture gentlemen. Is, excuse me. Well, my uh, picture is coming out soon in May, too. Oh, you have a picture coming out? I have two well, of them. As one of your fans, uh, uh, when is that to be released, Mr. Sar Mr. Uh, Sar around May or June, it's a dangerous when wet. Dangerous? <laughs> that's when, tonight. <laughs> when wet, did you say? Yes. Uh -huh. <laughs> well, that's not like a promising title. Yes. Uh, now, before the program started, ladies and gentlemen, uh, Miss Darcel told me the person that she would most like to be if she were not herself. Well, it's rather difficult to imagine how you could improve on Denise Darcel. However, it was all in fun. But before Miss Darcel tries to stump our panel, we want to hear from Johnson's Wax, ladies and gentlemen. With house cleaning days ahead, they have a suggestion about your floors. That's especially timely. Here's a way to polish floors that's new and better. Johnson's Hard Gloss Glow Coat that ends scuffed up floors. And no one knows more about what this means than Margaret Scott of Johnson's Consumer Service. Here's one reason why you'll like Johnson's new Hard Gloss Glow Coat. It makes cleaning much easier. It actually saves you hours of hard work. You pour it on and spread it like any self-polishing wax. But when it's dry, there's a tremendous difference. Hard gloss glow coat is much harder, much brighter than ordinary polishes. And that's what you want, so that your floor doesn't look like this at the end of a busy day. Messy and all streaked with scuff marks. Hard gloss glow coat is so hard, it stays shiny and is easier to care for. You just wipe it with a damp mop and the polish stays bright as new. Start using it tomorrow. When you're out shopping, get a can of Johnson's new hard gloss glow coat. Right now, in time for spring cleaning, you can save as much as 85 cents by buying hard gloss glow coat in the big bargain half gallon size. In this money saving can, you get four pints of Johnson's wonderful new hard gloss glow coat at less than the cost of three. You save as much as 85 cents. Look for Johnson's spring waxing bee display when you're shopping. You'll find Johnson's hard gloss glow coat featured in the big money saving half gallon size, and you'll save as much as 85 cents. Well, I see we're back on again, Miss Darcell. It's easy for our home audience to understand how I can be a little disconcerted here. Forget that we uh, have an audience. But suppose our panel uh, tries to find out who Miss Darcell would most like to be. But before we uh, do that, I'd like our home audience to see the name of this first famous person. Now, panel, we play the game just the same as we did before, and the loser's checks will go to Miss Darcell's favorite charity. I think that Joan Alexander might be a good idea to start this off with, Joan. Uh, this person you'd like to be, Miss Darcell, is a she? No. No? No. Uh, is, is it a he? Sorry, we... <laughs> <laughs> Must be. Well, it could be an animal or an it. That's true. That's true. <laughs> um, is he an actor? Yes. Is he a leading man? Uh, yes. But I pass. Um, Miss Alexander passes. Uh, Meredith, you have ten questions to work with. Hi, Denise. Hello, how are you? Is this, uh, is this person an American? <coughs> yes. Is this a, a, a cow person? A yeah. what person? A cow person. A right. cow person? Yes. A what? A cow person rides around on horseback. I did not. She says no, Meredith. <laughs> uh, 
question, not a cow person. I'll pass. Jerry. Jerry, ten questions to work with. Between the French dialogue and the fact that she wants to be a man, I'm really... <laughs> <laughs> Let's see now. Uh, we have a... Uh, you look just enchanting tonight. Thank you very much. Jerry, sort of... keep to the questions. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess so. Uh... Easy for him to say. He's sitting over there right next to her. <laughs> I don't need any help with this type of dialogue. Uh... <laughs> now then, this gentleman is a star. Yes. He's in pictures. Yes. Does he... Uh... Is he primarily a dramatic actor? No. Is he, uh, is he a dancer? Uh, yes. Uh, uh, has it been established that he's an American? Yes. 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 Does he sing, too? Yes. Sings and dances, and he's an actor. Has he ever been on the New York stage? Yes. Mm-hmm. Yes. He's a wild cat, this man. Mm -hmm. Is, uh... Has he, is he at the present time in America? Yes. Five questions, Jerry. Uh, 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 uh. Did he ever have a partner in dancing? No. Four questions left, Jerry. I passed. Joan, you have is seven questions. Is he a questions. comedian? Yes. Uh, and you say he is not part of a team? No. That was established. Um, I'm so smart. No, yes. Does he have any particular distinguishing physical characteristics? Distinguished? Uh, I would that say is, uh, no. Why no? No. No, not particularly. Is he very handsome? Yeah, I think so. You think he's very handsome? Yes. yes. <laughs> Four questions. Uh, left, is he young? By yes. Uh, very young? By in the middle. Mm -hmm. uh, sort of in the middle. In the middle. Uh, in the middle. He's young in the middle. Well, <laughs> that's where it's good to be young in the middle. <laughs> You got a lot of information for one question there, Joan. You have three questions left. Yes, and I'm going to pass. All right, uh, Meredith, you have eight questions to work with. Uh, is there anything about this uh, uh, in the distribution of, uh, of uh, oh, her suit adornment with his maybe a mustache or or hair in any way that is outstanding in this chap? No, no, I don't think. Not outstanding, no, Meredith. No outstanding. Uh, uh, does he have a, a, an outstanding smoking habit, like a cigar, possibly? Or no. no. No, nothing like that. Six questions left, Mary. Is this a very good-looking fellow? Well, uh, how should I say? But to me, he's, I mean, it's depending the test, you know. It's depending. It could yeah. be very good-looking. He's not the handsomest thing in the world, but... Uh, yeah. Shall we say attractive? He's not attractive. Very attractive. Well, would he, would he be apt to, uh, to appear to advantage in a... Uh, Pardon? Uh, uh, would he be apt to appear to advantage in a leopard skin, like? <laughs> <laughs> I would not say to it. I don't know, but I think so. Why not? Yes, he would. <laughs> Everybody. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Not hmm. too well. No, 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 no. Not too well. No, no, no. no. I pass. Uh, Is he, uh, uh, Jerry, we're running a little short of time. Is he very thin? But no, too thin. In the middle. <laughs> we going out. Is he thin in the middle? <laughs> <laughs> Three questions left, Jerry. All right, I got to take a pot shot. Uh, he sings, dances. He's a comedian, and he gets the girl too. Uh, sometimes. Sometimes. Uh, not Ray always. Bolger? Not always, no. Who? Ray Bolger? No, no, not Ray Bolger. You have two questions. Fred left, Astaire? Jerry. Our time is just about up. Do you want to take a quick uh, guess, Joan? Uh, Mickey Rooney. No, uh, Meredith, I'll give you one quick chance. Our time is up. Our time is up. Danny Kaye. Oh! Oh! Congratulations to you. Because you, you, you win checks from all three of them. Thank you for the makers of Johnson's Wax for playing the main to sing. Will you collect? Yeah.